on the University of Hartford campus, freshman Gage Robertson. Uh, I believe this one was made in 1906. Has time on his side. Everywhere you look. The escape wheel, the crutch, the strike side, time side. In a TikTok world, 18-year-old Gage has turned back the clock. I don't actually have TikTok, but, oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, that took me a second. He's more of an authentic TikToker. I've never actually met someone my age who works on these. Outside of class, the history major kills time by resurrecting it. Gage's operation, antique clock restoration. We had a family heirloom clock. It was a, uh, it's a 1915 Sessions mantle clock. Looks very similar to these and uh, didn't work. We took it to Standish Clock and Watch Shop in West Hartford and uh, he fixed it and I've just been hooked ever since. Gage's side hustle might move slowly, but he says there's fulfillment in bringing century old keepsakes up to speed. I feel like it's kind of like a, like a rescue mission whenever I get one of these clocks. That's a big aspect of it, is just preserving the history of the clock itself. 1800s? Yeah, so this one was made in 1894, um, and the one over there was made in 1906. Because these are Connecticut made, I also feel like it's just a kind of a neat piece of heritage, you know? The clients keep coming, and the hope is that staying on the clock will lead to a career after college. The best part of restoring these clocks, just being able to bring them back to a caring, loving household. Being able to bring them back to a state where people can value them and uh, care about them. In West Hartford, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.